Yo, what's up, people? This is Eric D. I just stopped by to tell you I finally got my front suspension kit in for the mini bike. Yeah, we got a brand new wheel, brand new tire. We got a, a two for the tire, uh, handlebar clamps. So I just wanted to let y'all get familiar with uh, how these front suspension forks break down. Um, they're basically like four different pieces. You know, you got your um, there's a center bracket, there's a top bracket, and of course you get the two um, uh, oil-filled uh, shocks, you know, the suspension from the forks catch your wheel to so these are you know, they're real high quality you know, heavyweight steel you know what I'm saying nice gauge steel uh, these got a little dusty because uh, you know the body shop, body shop I mean, they get a little dusty sometimes but uh, they look a little cleaner than this when I get my box but anyway just uh, four different pieces this little centerpiece uh, bracket slides on this is actually what makes it nice because it's fully universal. It adjusts to most, you know, uh, fork necks or whatever you want to call them. So, uh, yeah, all I gotta do is uh, attach this top bracket and it comes with like two bolts uh, that kind of hold it all together at the top. And, uh, and it's, it's pretty well made. Uh, I had an old polar cat uh, mini bike I was going to use the forks off of that but you know these were a uh, way better deal and less fabrication so this was definitely the best option for me uh, you know so it fit right on there and uh, uh, all I do is kind of lube it up a little bit you know what I'm saying some anti-seize lube on the, on the neck and uh, bolt it in. It's pretty easy. Like I said, the center bracket that holds, uh, you know, both sides together it just slides up and down. So it, it, it'll fit on most, you know, most mini bikes. You know, they say not on the um, uh, any of the motos or whatever. But you know, if you could do a little cutting and pasting. You, to fit on anything I think uh, depending on how you know what the diameter of the neck is you know and they come with these little two little tabs to keep the uh, fork from you know hitting the frame or going too far turning too far so that's nice that uh, hooked up right on to the doodle bug you know and uh, yeah, you just gotta uh, come with like, two little hex screws on the side. You just gotta tighten it up right where you are, uh, right where they fit in, whatever your application is. So we're just gonna tighten these up a little bit. It's pretty simple. Come with some pre pre slotted uh, screws too, I guess if you want to put like a fender on it or something too. And uh, I got these this tire and wheel from Go Power Sports too set up. Um, it's a 10 inch wheel. Uh, it's actually a two piece wheel, so you kind of put the two halves together and put the tire in between. And, and uh, I got a. Uh, Tube two to go with it. Um, it was a 10 inch uh, modular wheel. They didn't have any more of the black, so they sent me the, um, the, the chrome or the nickel plated. And um, so I tried to fit them all together. And uh, the forks come with some spacers for your wheel. So they came in a little too long, so I ended up having to cut them, which is nice too, because you never know how, you know, whatever size wheels you use, you might need a bigger spacer. So they came in handy, they gave me uh, two spacers that are a little too long, so I just cut them to fit. And uh, I got a three, 
three by ten tire and um, a tube too to go outside. And uh, like I said, it's two halves you put together. You gotta screw them together. It's a little bit easier, but you still gotta fight the tube, you know, some to get it in there. But uh, I got it in there and uh, put a couple washers. They need another washers. Check the size of the uh, the axle because the axle for the uh, fork um, well, I couldn't really find bearings for it on Go Power Sports. So uh, unless they were hiding them somewhere on the website, I, I couldn't find them. So I ended up having to get those from somewhere else. But it depends on what size of wheel you use, you know, and what size bearings you use. So definitely check the size of the axle. Or you may have to drill it out if you're using a bigger axle. But luckily, I, I found the right bearing. And I'll just leave a, um, on the description where I got the bearings from. I usually get all my bags from them. They're pretty good. They're out of California, but they ship kind of quick. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got these uh, handlebar clamps, too, for Go Power Sports. And uh, they work pretty good. They're kind of simply made, simple made, you know. You might have to paint them. Mine came in all scratched up and everything, but it's all good. I'll probably end up painting the forks, too. So worked out pretty good so I hope this video is a little helpful because uh, they don't come with instructions but luckily everything fit nice man the universal forks man they're awesome they saved me a whole lot of time man fabrication and uh, you get a nice ride suspension on your bike for not a lot of money and the wheel looks good so uh, next go around man I'm gonna try to get the motor in here man I still gotta uh, take the governor out and motor and do a couple things but all in all she coming together man I got a roller finally alright I'll holler at y'all next time peace